You know when you see uh, broke arrows on the range? Somebody has some problems. But when you see drawers on the range, somebody has some serious problems. Hello everybody. Hey today my Miss Daisy and myself we out here at the bow range shooting a few arrows and uh, just wanted to catch y'all up on my bow season for one and uh, and tell you a hunting story on the other. And uh, so here the, my bow season is uh, I think Saturday tomorrow may be October 1st so I've only taken one deer through bow season so far and it was on foot. and. Uh, I hadn't hunted that much at all, really hadn't hunted that much. It's rained a lot of the evenings, me and Miss Tammy, I took some time off work, but me and Miss Tammy took the camper and we went on a camping trip, and Miss Daisy, and uh, didn't hunt any. And just enjoying life, and uh, it's been really hot. The weather has finally turned a little bit, but uh, I started out the couple times I went deep in the swamp, like two miles, mile, three quarter, hunting hard, sweated down, bugs wearing me out. And I got to thinking, this ain't fun. <laughs> so at my age, I've decided if it ain't enjoyable, I ain't going to do it. So I just, I, you know, I just didn't hunt near as hard. I didn't go that much at all. They'd be three or four days in a row I wouldn't go to the woods, and I was off work. But I did get some stuff done around the house. But with that said, the weather's turned. I went yesterday and uh, missed a deer at 10 yards. Just completely missed. I, I had a... Uh, my buddy Jason did a video, I saw it this morning about buck fever, and I'm going to tell you right now, that's what happened to me, and that's what a coincidence. I was, I'm, I was going to call him and ask him, was he actually sitting in the tree over there watching me? Because I completely choked. About to run out of battery right here. But uh, anyway, I was going to shoot a few arrows and tell you guys about that, and let's talk about the buck fever right quick. It, uh, I've had target panic forever. Target panic, panic and buck fever are two different things. It's not the same. Uh, an excellent Olympic archer can choke down and have have a buck fever when an animal gets there. It's an adrenaline rush, and it's it gets if you don't. I don't know that you can control it, but what I do for me, I really focus on the spot I want to hit and making a good shot. And I did not do that yesterday. Like I said, I was hunting a flow area. We we don't have many. We don't have any water oak acorns, and. Uh, I didn't want to go deep in the swamp and hunt persimmons yesterday, so I went to a flow area that I knew was usually, I've killed deer there before, and I went and looked at it a couple of days and it showed plenty of sign coming back and to through there. So I went and set yesterday, two hours before dark. Here come a six point and an eight point. They going by my right side, everything is good. And uh, the six point smells a rat. And the eight point bounces off behind him or to the right and the six point comes across in front of me going back in a thicket. And uh, I, I just rushed my shot and I know I didn't hit anchor and I didn't, I missed him clean. So anyway, with that said, I was mad, 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 mad. I went home, I was home before dark and went home and shot a whole bunch of arrows and hitting at the distance I missed that deer, I can hit a quarter, like at least one out of three shots and the other two will be right there in the dollar bill. So uh, it's nothing but control. I lost control at the moment. Uh, my breathing was bad, everything was bad. So I would encourage you to really, when you get in those situations, to uh, to focus on something. If you're an aimer, focus on aiming. If uh, focus on uh, the shot and and take that split second before you shoot to, uh, I, I didn't pick a spot. Had I picked a spot, no matter what method you use, swing draw, or aim, whatever, you gotta pick a spot to hit it. And I shot at the whole animal. And so uh, it's, it's a really a blessing that I know what I did wrong, and it's a blessing that I didn't like wound him, you know, and a gruesome death for an animal I made I didn't do my part on. 
because I'm out for filling the freezer. And, uh, and it's also a blessing that I get to work on my mistakes because I know what they are. Like I've told y'all in my other videos, if you make a bad shot, know why. You won't improve if you don't, if you don't question it, what happened. And I know exactly what happened to me. And uh, this part of this is for you young guys out there. All the old guys know this. All, I say experienced guys. You can be older and just starting out with a stick bow. If you miss, it ain't the end of the world. Everybody misses. And uh, it's not okay to miss. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying it happens. Don't, don't uh, cut your bowstring. I've, I've, uh, in Jason's video, I use him as an example. He uh, talked this morning in the video I watched about target panic. He said he's killed, I forget the number, but near 200 deer. And I believe that. And uh, he said he's missed at least 100. And uh, my buddy Chris Bikes, two-time IBO world champion, he killed a deer at eight point last week that uh, was his 173rd bow kill. And uh, if you asked him, I'm sure he'll tell you he's missed deer at 10 yards before. I've killed near 200 deer and over that in hogs. I missed a deer yesterday 10 yards clean. So uh, it happens. You got to learn from it, get control. You have to control the situation. And, and uh, if, let's face it, if you were in the army and you hit panic mode like that, you're going to get killed. So you got, you got to learn to focus, uh, focus that adrenaline on the shot. And for me, when I've missed in the past, I, it turned to anger. I'd get mad. And uh, I don't. a lot of people may not know this, but when I first started bow hunting years ago, I missed the first nine deer I shot at. I shot over their back. So I told myself then that uh, the next one comes out, I'm going to shoot at his kneecap. And I bet I won't hit him hit him uh, high. And I did. I shot him right through the heart. And come to find out the deer were, uh, they were squatting on me. And plus, shooting from a tree stand, I wasn't, I, you know, it changes things. And I hadn't practiced from a tree stand. So with all that said, we're going to shoot an arrow or two at this target right here. And, and on the way out, I've been shooting for a little bit. But I wanted to, to let you know what my season's like. Let you know that uh, anybody can miss, especially me. And also let you know, don't give up if you do. you gotta, you got to keep stabbing at it. This trash is fun. And if you're doing anything, bow hunting, anything that ain't enjoyable, and it's something that you don't have to do, don't do it. <laughs> Like hunting with all uh, hunting in the heat and the mosquitoes were wearing me out and it was not fun and I won't do it again. I'll hunt closer places and it's it's really stupid to go a mile and a half deep when it's it was 94 degrees that day and then it humidity like mad and then it rained me out an hour before. So uh, anyway, this has got to be fun and don't make it anything but that. So with that said, let's let's shoot a quick arrow. And uh, Miss Daisy's over there looking at me like it's time to eat, Pops. So let's shoot a quick air and see how we do. This is five yards farther than I missed yesterday. He's dead. A little bit higher than I was want to, but I was actually shooting for the center, the little ten ring thing on him, and not shooting down there around his heart. I shot, I broke an arrow. I shot down there low and hit him right in that crease, right where you want to hit one, and there was something in there and broke one of my arrows while ago. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thank y'all for watching my videos, and y'all keep the good Lord first. Life is good, and uh, like I told y'all, especially you beginners. If you miss, it happens. It ain't okay to miss. It's not okay to miss, but it happens. So you you got to learn from your mistakes. You got to figure out what you did wrong and focus on it. All the practicing in the yard don't amount to squat when that heart is pounding and that deer comes through there. What I can tell you is make your shot simple. There's, there's some people, I mean, you can add all these checklists to what you do and, and like you can add put a bunch of stuff and complicate your shot i mean the physical part of the shot or make it simple some of the best shooters i know that consistently bring animals home i'm talking and that's shooting under pressure now i'm not talking about backyard shooting i'm talking about guys that bring home the meat their shot is simple they draw the boat they pick their spot draw the bow hit anchor 
and uh, like my buddy Scott Moore there, he has those three steps, uh, hook it, jam it, and pull it. He hooks the string, goes, hits anchor, jams in his anchor, pulls through, all the while maintaining the focus on this spot. Simple shots. And also, all of the guys I know that bring home the meat should hunt close. That's the biggest thing. That, that, that minimizes terrible shooting mistakes when you're shooting at him at 10 yards instead of 25. And of course, it didn't help me much yesterday because I completely lost it. But uh, I'll get him next time. Thank y'all for watching. Keep the good Lord first and uh, smile. Life is good.